What's up YouTube, this is Print Practical. Today we're taking a look at Bamboo Labs PVA, which is a support material for PLA, but it's water soluble. So I'm not gonna lie, this stuff is pretty expensive. $39.99 for 500 grams but it really depends on how you use it. If you print your complete supports out of support material, you're gonna use a ton. But if you print just the interface between the supports and the part, then you're gonna save a lot of wasted support material. The first model we're gonna test with is my Ender 3 X carriage for my direct drive setup that I designed a long time ago. This thing's kind of a pain to print. There's supports that are touching the build plate, there's supports between printed pieces, and there's supports in the holes if you turn those on. So we're going to enable all the supports and print it out with the PLA, support for PLA, and the PVA, and figure out, is this stuff worth it? Let's slide these two over to the side and take a look at the PLA model with the PLA supports. And let's break all the supports off, see how difficult it is. All right, what a pain in the butt. I finally got this after about 10 minutes of prying. And as you can see, I left some marks on the part itself. There's some interface material still left on the PLA, so definitely not ideal. Now we're looking at the support material for PLA. Oh my gosh, the whole part split in half. I was expecting to just pop this bad boy off. Well, that definitely did not go as planned here. Now, obviously that was disastrous and that's half my fault. I was just pulling on it too hard, trying to break off this support piece. And it did take a lot of prying to get the support for PLA off of the actual print. But one thing you do notice is that it has pretty much a perfect surface where the supports were once you eventually get it off. I mean, here is the normal PLA supports. This is very rough in texture. I don't know if I can get the camera to focus in on that at all. If we look at the support for PLA, this is very smooth to the touch. So it does leave you with a nicer surface finish, but it was still quite a pain to get off. And uh, I don't know if it was worth it for me. Uh, I was a little rough on the model, but still, uh, that was kind of a pain in the butt. All right, my fingers are super sore from picking away supports, so let's hope that the water solvable PVA helps with this situation. Let's give it a try. Well, this cleaned up super nicely. This is a nice smooth surface. There's a little bit of roughness, but pretty darn good. All the supported areas came out awesome. The supports do take a very long time to dissolve and come off. I was a little impatient and I was breaking pieces off as they were starting to dissolve. But after leaving this in water, the supports that were in these little crevices here just melted away in the water. So. Very nice, and it looks really good. So for my next experiment, I'm gonna try something that normal PLA supports and support for PLA won't really help with, is when the supports are intermixed within the model, and it would be impossible to remove them without a lot of work. So I found this awesome model of a chest rook, which has a staircase going up through the middle, and if I slice it up, you can see that the supports go all throughout the middle of the part. So I'm gonna print that out and then I'm gonna try submerging it in water to see if the supports fully disappear. All right, the rook has finished and it looks awesome. And as you can see, the supports are completely intertwined within the design, which means that 
you know, you couldn't do this with a normal support. So we have a cup of hot water here. I'm gonna sit this in there and I have to catch a tea time for some golf. And hopefully when I come back, those supports will be gone. It's been 24 hours. I shot a 111 in my tea time, terrible. But the part has been submerged for 24 hours. So let's check it out. Well, I see the supports on the bottom are gone. And that looks pretty darn good. All right, let me dry it off and then we can take a look. Well, this rook turned out awesome. All the details came out super crisp. The top and the bottom of the staircase looks excellent. And there's like a small DNA-like structure that spirals up towards the middle. And that turned out perfect too. There was zero support material left on this part when I removed it from the water. So it definitely did its job and it left such a good surface finish. So let's talk about is the bamboo PVA worth it? Well, I think that really depends on a few things. One, if you're printing a single model or you know a small subset of models that require a lot of support and you're not mass producing these and you don't care about print time, then it's definitely useful and it makes removing supports a lot easier. However, it does increase your print time significantly. So your printer may be running an eight hour print instead of a one hour print. Also, this stuff is pretty expensive, so it's gonna be costly and there's a lot of waste associated with switching filaments on the fly. But I do have to say, if you're printing out a model similar to the Rook that I printed, where there's a ton of internal support material, but there's not very large holes on the outside of the model to easily remove those supports, then this is an awesome option. I submerged in water for 24 hours and the model surfaces came out perfect and there was zero material left for supports in the model. So I have to say it really depends on your use case, but this stuff did exactly what it's advertised to do. So for $39.99 or whatever it is, uh, you could have a easy time removing supports. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and put a comment down below if there's anything else you want to see. And see you next time.